Mm-hmm. So we'll <laughs> my femur. <laughs> 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 Where you keep going? Yeah, like, <laughs> <"Hey, please." laughs> All right. Yo. You ready? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> Why did she say it like that? <laughs> okay. Dang, what if I really wasn't ready? I don't know. I would have. I would have gone. All right. <laughs> no, I'm surrounded by villains. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Comfort Level Podcast. I am here with some of my favorite people on and off screen. Um, go ahead and introduce yourself, guys. Um, well, hi, everybody. My name is Jasmine, and I'm Maddie and Brandon's friends. And Sam's friends. But not, not Sam's, Sam's friends. friends. <laughs> Exclusively just, us. Just Maddie and Brandon's Yeah, friends. never Sam. Exclusively us. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, kidding. About the friends, obviously. Can we start? Yeah. Right I don't like my... Don't yeah, like you my can just intro. say your name, too. It's okay. You don't have to do like okay. a big introduction. Okay. Let's All right. just start over. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Comfort Level Podcast. Oh. I am Maddie, and I'm here with... Jasmine. Yo, it's your boy, Brando, you know? It's Sam. I'm not anyone's friend on the show today. Wow, Sam. But <laughs> you're my cousin. Hey! hey. <laughs> Woke up and chose violence, huh, Sam? Let's get right into these stories. <laughs> I like how your smile drops. <laughs> hey, shout out to my boy Josh, man. Yeah, shout out my little yeah. brother. Actually, my family. so last my week's blood. episode was Josh. <laughs> there he is, there he is. This is his sister, and she's going to do a freestyle just like Josh did. So I'm going to bust a B. Hey. <laughs> Hot soap. Hell. <laughs> no, I can't do it. She I'm not hell. doing it. <laughs> that was fire. <laughs> Comfort level, I would say four, because I'm hot. Yeah, I say four. I'm pretty hot. It's hot. I would say. I put. I'm chilling. <laughs> Sorry. I would say two point five because I also have. I got tooth pain. But, you know, we vibing and thriving, so. Mm -hmm. What's your comfort level, Jazz, from 1 to 10? My comfort level is probably an 8. I feel good. Okay. You should probably downgrade it to a 7 because it's not a pocket right there. Yeah. You didn't have to out her like (laughs) that. Nobody had to know. (laughs) Nobody had to know that these were flats. (laughs) That that puts you down a couple of Yeah, that. If you ain't got pockets. (laughs) Hater. And that's why she didn't say you were friends. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's why that's the truth. <laughs> I said, and Sam, you guys just weren't listening. It took so long. <laughs> and we were listening. There was, there we were was just, some hesitation, we but it was just for like, being she, honest. That's, that's where she's going to no, end? No, <laughs> it wasn't that. I just didn't know what I was supposed to be saying. So. I'm just saying, if I had enough room to be like, okay, if, is there going to be like a, a special thing for Sam or not? Then, you know, there was a hesitation. There was That's a hesitation. Because in my head, I was thinking about what I was supposed to be saying while I was supposed to be saying it. That's why. But you made sure you're like, like, the two people I know who are my friends, I'm going to get them out right away. No, because I look to my right and I look to my left. And, and I was then like I, waving at them like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, peek oh behind Brandon. I'm like, hey, me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Man, justice for Sam, man. Justice for Sam. No. <laughs> so I'll read you the title, and you tell me off, just off the title if you think they're the asshole or not, okay? Mm-hmm. Am I the asshole for sharing the private text my conservative neighbor sent me with the neighborhood group chat? Mm, I, no. no, I don't think so, to be honest. No. Yeah, no, that, <laughs> I'd tell yeah. that could be because a lot of that things. Could be, that could be... That could be um, you know, dang, what's the word I was going to say? You know, that could be potentially dangerous. Ah. You know, so you don't know. You got to let what people know mean? what's up. You don't know what the person said in the text. Okay. So maybe the text was something that could put other neighbors in danger. Okay, you just said it's so threatening. I was like, okay. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. It could be potentially dangerous if you... <laughs> Well, I don't know. If you show off my text, it could be dangerous for you. (laughs) It could could get a little dangerous for you. It could get a little wicked real quick. I'm show me show my text. The point no, that's not what I was saying. (laughs) (laughs) 
It's not you showing the text that's potentially oh, okay, dangerous. Okay. It's the text that was sent that could be dangerous, okay. you know? Yeah. It could have been a threat. Well, we're about to find out if it was a threat or not. Okay. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I, male 32, moved into this neighborhood two months ago. The neighborhood is kind of busy with a lot of activities and events taking place. I have a next door neighbor named Steve. From what I noticed, Steve has an important place among the neighbors. He's conservative and somewhat influential, if that is the right word. So anyways, Steve keeps inviting me to participate in events, but I tell him I'm busy. I work long shifts as a nurse, and he seems to be, to be personally offended whenever I decline. He was nice about it at first, and then he started spreading rumors about me being agnostic, introverted, and antisocial. I oh, ignored him, no. and then he started complaining about everything I do and don't do, like my front door cam, the lights in my driveway, the garage, the dog, and the list is endless. I had a stern conversation with him in front of the other neighbors last week telling him to leave me alone and to stop complaining to the, neighborhood, to the neighbors about me for no reason. He said something about how he was just trying to make sure to include me in the events and also try to get me to avoid any violations about lights and pets. I said, thank you, but I need to be left alone. Apparently, I pissed him off because he sent me a private text basically berating me for calling him out on harassment towards him in front of the other neighbors. He then cussed me out. Here's what he said, copy-paste. No one likes you in this neighborhood anyway. You're an inconsiderate slob and a fucking jerk. Just go away. You won't be missed. Nobody cares about you or your pathetic dog. I was shocked that this type of word choice came from a religious dude like him. I had it, I took a screenshot, and shared it with him in the neighborhood group chat. There was silence on their end, but Steve came over this morning lashing out about how I'm basically trying to ruin his reputation in the neighborhood and turn the neighbors against him by sharing a private text message that only I was meant to see. He yelled about how he can't even show his face at church. I argued with him, then told him to F off, shut the door on his face. Uh, I went to work, and that was the last time we spoke. I did get a couple of calls from some neighbors about it, which makes me think I shouldn't have shared the text. Am I the asshole? Mm, I mean, I don't think so. I mean, you were the one who sent the text message. That was just word choices that you used. Right. So it's just the consequences of your actions. Like, I mean, yeah, if it didn't come out then, it was going to come out another time with a different incident, so... I don't think that person's an asshole. Mm hmm It seems like Steve, I feel like that's the only place he has power in his life. Because the way he's just like, no, you're ruining my reputation. I can't go to church because of this. It's like, bro, it's a neighborhood group chat. <laughs> Who cares? Right. Like, your life is that <laughs> little. <Yeah. laughs> I mean, it's like that for some people. But, dang, bro, like, how low you got to be to be in a... a I'm, I'm, I'm the guy. I'm the guy that everybody comes to in the neighborhood to go for, have a party and have a good time. And <laughs> I do all the rules and regulations. Nah, like, nah, they bro. probably really don't even like you like that. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Pay what you owe. Mm -hmm. We're done in the dark. Go come to the light. And that's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. Is that a thing I should be in a, a group chat, a neighborhood group chat? I ha our neighborhood has a um, a Facebook group page. I was gonna say, what apparently it's a thing. See, second yeah. time, this is my coworker was talking about a group chat this week, and I'm like, is this a normal thing now? I'm hearing people are in group chats. I think some, I don't know, some places. I don't care We're anything not about my neighbor. I don't <laughs> care anything about. They be them. like selling like stuff on there when they're moving. They'll be asking like, oh, can anybody's son mow my lawn or whatever? I got twenty bucks <laughs> and stuff, and then they'll be like. Um, They'll talk about, like, suspicious activities oh. or whatever. That part gets me. They'd be like, um, somebody was driving really fast along this road while kids were down there. <laughs> Whoever it was, um, like, they just, like, go off about, like, that type of stuff. And then other neighbors would be like, I think I saw that car, too. <laughs> it was so-and-so at this time. I'm like, y'all really don't have nothing to do. Staying out, looking out their uh, window. Yeah. It's like, what in the world? Or their ring videos. It's not, they don't even have to look out the window anymore. It's just rings everybody's rings like, oh, I have a ring video of this person at this time. I have one of this person <laughs> at this time. But people have been uh, stealing parts from cars in my neighborhood, though, so. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what? Um, a, a part um, of someone's car. And what podcast. What did they steal, Jazz? Got stolen. What were they stealing? In front of my Something house. Something converters or something? Uh. 
Yeah. What? That's what it was? Yeah, we were shooting the podcast a few weeks ago <laughs> at my house, and Maddie's catalytic converter got yeah. stolen. Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. Oh my god! Eleven hundred. Yeah, that's During exactly. when that storm was happening, there was a storm, and that's when they cut it off. Like when the storm was. Happening. Oh my gosh! Yeah. That is so trifling. And I don't have a <laughs> ring looking out the front of my yard. So. Eleven hundred dollars. <laughs> nah, you guys know my dad. He keep that thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he got it on there. <laughs> I I used to have a neighbor though, who but it was before ring was a thing. She was an elderly neighbor. And she, there would be times where I'd be looking in her house because I would like be like walking up the street and I'm like, does she have binoculars right outside the window? So you would just see like this like little like white afro and then just like binoculars like right outside the window as mm -hmm. she's just watching the whole neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And it was funny because if you wanted to know anything about anything, you would go to her because mm -hmm. people would tell her stuff and then she would just tell other people stuff. So you're like, Gloria, what's happening right now? And you're like, oh, the people up the street, they're moving, blah, 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 blah. And then you just, she's got her like big knockers of belong. Like the binoculars big are like knockers. bigger than her head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's her boobs. Yeah. She's able to pick them up and push, you know, look you know her last up. name? Her mommy Melkers. Gloria Ring. Yeah. That's Taylor. That's where the ring came from. <laughs> Her name is Gloria Ring, and they came up with the Ring cameras based on her. And the movie. Oh the movie's based off her, and too. And the Ring, yeah, the Ring. The length of the Ring's hair was as long as her boobs were to the floor. Her mommy milk. <laughs> her mommy milkers. Ew. Uh, <laughs> nobody wants to think about that. <laughs> oh, no old lady. <laughs> I mean, hey, hey, some people do. Sam's into it. <laughs> Sam. Sam's into it. Mommy milkers are mommy milkers. I don't care what your age is. You know? He said, hey, no, don't discriminate. Yeah, you're 95. <laughs> then we still here for you. Oh, goodness. Because Rose on the Titanic was like, she was kind of a baddie a little bit when she was old. But I was just going to disagree with you, like, Strongly, because I was about well, to be like, at all. Rose, yes, baddie when she was like younger, but of course, when you get older, your looks fade. So the oh, fact no, that I you're like, her, Rose is ugly when she was younger, I, I have she a got confession stronger. to make. You oh, know? yeah, <laughs> this is the show for confession. <laughs> I have never watched the Titanic all the way through. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Okay, so what, Sam, what'd you say? what parts have you seen? Just like random have parts, you seen the like when scene? they're in the ocean <laughs> and they're on the door or whatever, or on have the wood. Jez, <laughs> Jez, have you seen the car and scene with the window? Really, what? Have you seen the car scene with the window and the no. steam? Have you seen but I have seen like the scene when they're, um, when they're on the deck or whatever, <laughs> and, and the iconic were, scene. Yeah. I've seen That's that like scene. That's like 20 minutes into the movie. That doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's seen but that. But the only reason, all the knowledge I have about the Titanic is what people say yeah, about it whenever they talk about it. Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's the only knowledge I have about the Titanic. Titanic Dude, Rose should have been. It's like one of the most watched movies in the I world. I know, but I'm like, just a different person. I don't know. Okay. Wait, did every, everybody else say their opinion? Yeah. I think all your only opinion is the only thing that mattered. Oh. We, we only listen to the guests. <laughs> Look at that. Maddie always cuts me and Brandon's opinion out anyway. Oh, I have you, yeah, have you seen the episodes yet? You would. They're very short. They're just like. Yeah. We go like. Really? <laughs> we go like. Oh. <laughs> and then she cuts it right there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> but I leave in every time they start a new sentence. So it's like. Oh, oh. And, and. And. You know, it's like stuff like that. Yeah, it's very fast. Okay. <laughs> so it's. And then the, there's another part. It's just you slide it to the right. To, and us <laughs> reacting to her with our faces. Like. <gasps> And then she mutes our track sometimes. That's crazy. This was really messed up. Am I the asshole for buying my girlfriend a blender instead of the necklace she wanted for our anniversary? Well, if you knew she wanted the necklace, yeah, then why don't you crazy. just buy her the necklace? <laughs> you could have just bought her what she wanted. Did she ask you for a blender? <laughs> like, yeah, I think you kind of are because you knew what she wanted and didn't get it. So, yeah, you mm. are. Okay. <laughs> Before I start, I like to say that my girlfriend and I are both women. We are lesbians. I say this to hopefully preempt the typical man comments. This happened last month, but my best friend and hers are still giving me shit about it. We are, had our one year anniversary, asked what she wanted, and she told me just something romantic, a little necklace or something cute. While browsing around on Amazon, I found an emulsion blender and it pinged in my head. 
My girlfriend loves cooking and always talks about all the ga gadgets she wants. Plus, mm. she made homemade tomato sauce, and I remember complaining about how hard it was to make the sauce smooth because she didn't have an emulsion blender. I'm a very practical gift giver. I like to give things people will use, so I bought it and was super excited to give it to her. The day rolls around, and she gives me a bottle of whiskey. I've had my eye on for ages, but could never justify the cost. I was so hyped and encouraged my girlfriend to open hers. She opened it, and her face kind of falls, and she said, oh, an emulsion blender. <laughs> and I told her I remembered her talking about all the kitchen gadgets she wanted and was so excited to give it to her. She kept her cool, but she told me while she appreciated the thought, she was a little upset that it wasn't jewelry. I was confused, so she explained that she felt anniversaries should be more about romantic, sentimental gifts versus practical, that she appreciated it greatly, but couldn't lie to me that she wished it had been the necklace she pointed out to me online. It was nothing fancy, a $30 mushroom necklace. I shared my woes with my friend, and my friend thought it was not, my friend thought it was hilarious that I was so inept that he understood why my girlfriend was upset with her gift. The girlfriend's best friend also got wind of the situation and has been ribbing me with telling my girlfriend to get back to the kitchen jokes. My girlfriend and I are fine, but I know <laughs> she was disappointed, and she ended up buying the necklace herself a week after I gave her the blender. So am I the asshole for giving my girlfriend a practical gift versus the necklace she wanted? Uh, yes, and the fact that you just explained all that, the, the more it went on, the more the worse it got. She told you what she wanted, pointed it out online. It was only $30, and you still decided that you were going to get her something else, even though it was a thoughtful gift. She told you what she wanted. You should have just went with that, and if you wanted to get the emulsion blender, you could still get it as an additional gift. But she didn't tell you that she wanted an emulsion blender for this occasion. She said she wanted that specific necklace. So, yeah, yeah you are the a-hole. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, when is that easy when your partner's, like, literally just telling you, like... Yeah, like, you have, that. you literally Man, had no it's, excuse. Yeah, it's usually not that... Usually you gotta figure it out, but I'm like, they just right. told you. Like, just she didn't that. leave yeah. it up to you. She literally told you. Most people have to try and, like, yeah. figure it out. And that's when something like that, like the emulsion blender, you would have to use that thought process for that, but you didn't have to think about it at all. <laughs> she gave you what she wanted. Yeah. yeah. Why even ask her? If you were already planning on doing this, why even ask her what she wanted? Exactly. Because then she's thinking, okay, she took note of that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're uh, gay, straight, whatever. Like, it doesn't matter. Your, your partner told you what they wanted, and you didn't get it. <laughs> Okay, so now that we know that they're clearly the asshole, they're saying that they gave them the gift because that's what they like to receive and give is practical gifts. Mm -hmm. Do you think that even though in their heart they're like, this is a gift that I really want to give you, that it was like that they're still the asshole? Yes. It's a, it's a learning moment for sure. But, yeah, I, I, st I stick beside that. Like, even though that other gift came from a good place, it's not what that person wanted or asked you for. Yeah. And they showed you exactly, like, the one that they wanted. So just take it as a lesson, you know, for the next time, if they mention something that they want for that specific occasion, just get that. And then if you want to get an additional gift, maybe save the practical gift for, like, Christmas when you give people, like, multiple gifts yeah. and stuff like that. Or, you know, something else. Or maybe a just because gift. That would be nice. But, yeah. Yeah, to get an emulsion blender out of nowhere, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing like... you don't think that, Maddie, though, huh? No, because I was just wondering, cause, um, because they obviously know what they like to give. At, like, I agree. I definitely think that they're the asshole. They, they were thinking about, I feel like, themselves and like maybe them appreciating the gift because they're like, oh, I know that mm -hmm. you would practically use this. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's worth buying it compared to like jewelry because it's like, I mean, yeah, you would have it, but maybe you wouldn't wear it all the time. Listen, diamonds are forever, okay? It wasn't and mushroom necklaces. 30, it was a $30 mushroom necklace, so it wasn't like <laughs> fancy. Uh, that's, okay, that's true. <laughs> You're not well, going to get that many diamonds for $30. <laughs> for whoever needs to buy me a necklace, I would like diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> So if you listen to this and you get her a motion blender, you're, oh, the, then you're the asshole. Yeah, then you're the, <laughs> or a mushroom or necklace. Or a mushroom necklace. She didn't ask for a mushroom necklace. She didn't want a blender. She wanted diamonds. Okay. Get it right. Period. I would say, I think, because I used to be kind of like that, like, because, mm -hmm. like, my parents, bless their heart, they would, like, get me stuff, but it was like, I'd be like, I wanted, I want, 
I don't know. Something. I, I want a sunset lamp. The solstice ones. Uh -huh. And that'll get me the Vivitar. <laughs> uh -huh. it's, it, it's cool. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much for it. But it's like, it's not what I wanted originally. Uh -huh. But it's like that, like growing up with so many years of that, eventually <laughs> it made me like a practical gift giver. Oh, yeah. When I like first started giving out gifts. So I'd be like, oh, yeah, I know they're going to use this. I know this is exactly what they want. But it's like, or like, I know they either this is exactly what they want or this is exactly what they need. Mm. And so like after a while, it was just like, all right, I'm giving gifts, but I wasn't necessarily attached to like, um, I'm giving this just because you asked, just because you want it, this is exactly what you want. I was giving it because I was like, I know that you're going to use this. Mm -hmm. And like after a while, like logic kind of overpowers mm -hmm. the um and but i'm like did you, people actually tell you like exactly what they no, wanted no, or did you yeah. have to or did you have to figure it out because they didn't tell you exactly what they wanted there were some people that actually really okay. did just tell me like yo mm -hmm. i want this for my birthday so like growing up i'd just be like okay mm -hmm. but like i'd be like all right here's this though and they're like mm -hmm. thanks and i'm like what mm -hmm. the heck this looks, mm -hmm. you're gonna use like i see you using it already like i know you're using it mm -hmm. so it's like but after you're getting them like Toilet paper, and paper towels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, so he saw people. I know you're gonna be using this. We all need toilet paper. Mm. Put a bow on it. I would just say it just took me a while. Toothpaste. To... Here you go, buddy. <laughs> you know, you should be using you this. Should be. I'm not sure if you are, but this is for you. Dang. It's a floss too. <laughs> <laughs> to top it off, a little mouth <laughs> ah. A little eye. You got to go crazy. <laughs> Shake it off. <laughs> but I don't know. I would say after a while, it took me like a Listerine <laughs> shot. <laughs> Who wants a Listerine shot? I know you want one. Don't even. I ain't gonna ask you. I know Anybody you else? need one. I know you, you know. Need I don't know that you need one. I'm like, you're gonna have one. Oh my gosh, my stomach is cramping from laughing. <laughs> it just it took me a while, like growth. Like you know, okay, let me just actually give gifts like people are asking for, or like mm -hmm. just gifts like they're from the heart. So like I I think it just all comes down to growth. Like it's definitely a lesson learned. Like, yeah, you are, but <laughs> learn from it. Mm -hmm. Don't just keep doing it. Just learn mm -hmm. from it. That's exactly. it. Exactly. There but was a I don't, th a, I don't think she reply. did anything wrong, though. Excuse me? No, and this is where she did do something wrong, but I'm like, giving practical gifts is not wrong. It's right. only yeah, that's not wrong. tells you exactly what they want, and you're like, I'm going to completely get you the opposite. Mm -hmm. But practical gift givers are the best gift givers, man. I know they come to me with you, like, I'll give you, like, a bracelet or something I'm like okay and, and it just depends on the occasion too like if it's a romantic occasion maybe like i look at jewelry as like a keepsakes from like moments so like i don't know like necklaces and stuff if it's like an important occasion i'll like look at it like oh yeah i remember when so and so got me this for whatever like it's like a okay. keepsake to for the memories so when me. people have given you necklace the th weird thing about jewelry to me is like, I like buy you jewelry and they're like, it's ugly or like, oh. or like they won't say it's ugly, but you're like, they'll probably never wear it because I'm like, this is not me, this is not my style. Why am I? Why did oh. you give me this thing? So nobody's ever told you exactly what they wanted as far as jewelry. That's why I would never get to oh, yeah. like, I am okay. a practical giver. I'm like, that's understandable. Well, I know you need this, so I'm gonna. Because I'm just like Brandon. I'm like, I see you need this. Uh -huh. I'm going to get it for you. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Practical gifts are nice. It's just, it just wasn't for this occasion. Yeah. Wasn't, wasn't the one. Yeah, if someone told me a gift cost $30, I'm getting you that $30. Yeah. <laughs> like, That's easy, man. How much was that emulsion blender? <laughs> right. That, that was probably at least double. Hundreds of hundreds thousands dollars. of dollars. Wait, well, how are you spot? You said not hundreds of thousands. <laughs> e M U L. Easily half a million dollars. Yeah. F I O M. You said there was a comment, Maddie. Yeah, there's like a top comment or something. I know you're oh, hot. You're the asshole. So I get you're a lesbian, but wow, this is like a TV sitcom man action. You might as well have bought her a bowling ball with your name on it. It was the same <laughs> price. Oh, is it thirty dollars? Oh my Just gosh, about... are you serious? <laughs> Twenty nine ninety nine. That is so dumb. <laughs> that is so dumb. That just pissed me man. off for that girl. Mm -mm -mm. It's okay. Better days are coming. <laughs> she, <laughs> Better days if, are coming. If she watches this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, would you break up 
with your partner if they, no. If no. they watch you on emulsion blender? No, that's not something to break up with somebody over. <laughs> <That's> so specific. <laughs> Is anything else but like you bought me the most it's over no i How wouldn't break you. up with somebody because of that i would have just told them like hey i thought you were gonna give me that necklace that i mentioned for my birthday but i really like no, this like, i honestly didn't yeah but i'd be <laughs> like well i pointed it out because i wanted it <laughs> good to know for next time take yeah. the blender <laughs> <laughs> okay we'll just learn from that experience but if you do that again if i tell you um you know i was expecting this and I told you what it was and you didn't get it and I told you that I had an issue with that, if I mention something again and you don't get it, you give me something else, then that's a problem. Because <laughs> I'm like, what did you not understand about the first time this happened? <laughs> right, it's like, it's kind of like an underlying issue. Of like, yeah, it's like, is there something else going on? Did you do this or, to make me mad like, or like what? I'm going to get you when I get you and you're going to like when I get you. Yeah, no, somebody else can do that. <laughs> but no, if I ask for something, why do I not have it? <laughs> Well, because I know the, the best thing about getting older is, like, no one expects gifts anymore. So if you get anyone anything now, mm. there's, like, you thought of me? And I'm That's like, nice. yeah, it's pretty easy, man. <laughs> you just get people gifts, and they're like, they love you for it because no one gets them gifts anymore. When you gave me true. those donut holes the, that, like, a few months ago? Yeah. you, like, ate half of them? I did, I eat, didn't, a, I I did eat a lot of them. Mm -hmm. But when you're like, yeah, I got these for you, I didn't even care. I was like, oh, my God, I get to have some of yeah. those? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you wow. got to have, like, a couple. And then I ate the rest? <laughs> and then I did eat a lot. You ate most of them. No, I think Brandon ate. I ate two. Of them. I, think I Brandon ate two. Ate, that was a specific number. I think Brandon ate a lot. I ate mm -hmm. two. Because there were 16. Total. And I had two. You had nine. I, I had, had two. five, I think. And <laughs> hey, the, you're lying because you said you started off the sentence with I ate the majority of it. I did eat the majority of them. They were good. <laughs> Don't let this man fool you. He's a villain. So I got two. I got two. Okay, um, okay, okay. Tell me which one you want to hear, Jazz, okay? Okay. Am I the asshole for locking the door to prevent my husband from getting involved in my job interview? Or. Did we do that one? No. Did we? No. I don't remember that. I don't remember that one at all. Or, am I the <laughs> asshole for leaving my best friend and his friend stranded in an unfamiliar city? Oh, I think I just read that one when I was what? on it. Really? Yeah. That's I a good like, one? I did like it. You did? Yeah. Okay, let's do that one. Okay. Am I the asshole for leaving my best friend and his friend stranded in an unfamiliar city? So, for background, my best friend has gotten into going to these Spartan races. He and a small group of his friends have started going to local ones, but recently heard about one in another state that they wanted to go to and compete in, but they didn't have anywhere to stay. So they asked me if they could borrow my truck and trailer. I have a tow behind camper for the, for the weekend. I said no, I wasn't comfortable with them taking my truck and trailer, but that I drive them in the camper to the event. We made the three-hour trip and set up everything in the area where the race was taking place the next day. I have a habit of leaving my keys on a hook next to the door to my bedroom in my camper. Remember this. Come nightfall, I went to take a phone call outside and ended up wandering around the grounds for over an hour. When I got back to the camper, the door was locked, and I was told by my best friend's older friend through the window that there wasn't enough room for me in my trailer. So I reached for my keys to unlock the door, but I realized I had left them inside the camper on the hook in my room. So I called my best friend from outside, and all I was told was, sorry, bro, nothing I can do. So I ended up sleeping in my truck that night, which I fortunately left unlocked by, by accident. Their race began at 8 a.m., and at 7, they came up meandering out of the trailer and woke me up. No apology, by the way. So while they were in their race, I hooked up my truck back up to the trailer and closed and locked everything and waited until after they just finished and had started walking back to the trailer. Think really wide open field. When I saw them coming, I started the truck and drove off the property with them chasing behind. I made the three hour trip back home, declining call after call. When I finally got home, I finally took my best friend's call. He started yelling at me saying, why would you do this? We have no way home now. I just said, sorry, you shouldn't have made me sleep in my truck after I did you this solid. He told me that there was a better way to handle this than by leaving them in an unfamiliar city with no way home. I think he ended up calling his dad to come and get them. Is he right? Was there a better way to handle this? I felt justified in that, and I'm kind of doubting my decision now. Am I the asshole? Mm -hmm. 
Well. Oh, oh my God. If you want to be mature, I guess there's a better way to handle it. But. You guess there's 100% a better way to handle <laughs> that. But at the same time, these people were already just using you for the trailer and the truck. So you you knew that going into it. You went down there with them, and then they leave you out of your thing, and you say, oh, sorry, there's nothing that can be done. Uh, yeah, okay. You're at this convention or with these people or this little race. Like, find somebody at this thing to take you home. Or this is 2022. If you have a cell phone, you can find a ride anywhere. So, uh, I, there was better ways to handle it. I'm not going to no, lie. I'm not, even, but, I'm not even mad at him leaving them. I'm mad that he waited the entire day <laughs> so he could they could watch him leave. That is so that petty. Was petty. He could have left right away. He could have just went home and they were like, where are you at? He's like, I left. No, he waited but all no, day he for waited. He, was like, he looked in the window. He's like, can they see me? Yeah. I'm pulling out. That's so petty. Oh, that That's is petty. That's thing. very petty. That is very petty. There is like a thing on here called like a justified asshole. And I would think that this person is a justified asshole. Because they, everybody is an asshole in this situation, but mm -hmm. I'm kind of happy that he did what he did and he was petty for it. And I like yeah. it. Yeah. He's a vigilante at that point. Yeah. <laughs> a vigilante for self justice. Hey, you, hey, you got to do that for yourself because if you don't, nobody else is. <laughs> what would you do, Brandon? I'm curious. What would you do? What would I do? Yeah, in this situation. <laughs> Punch the air. <laughs> <laughs> Punch in the air outside the trailer. Um. I wouldn't have. Would I wouldn't that. have let the night go over. I'm like, oh, oh, y'all leave me at my own trailer. I'm knocking every. Yeah. Every, I will just. I won't I stop I, knocking yeah. until you let me in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, all right, what was that about? And then, on the ride back, I don't know something to make them feel less. <laughs> <laughs> It's all a mental game. They're not going to care, though, because they, you know, they got to do what they got to do already. They didn't sleep in my, they didn't sleep in my trail overnight. <laughs> I ain't getting sleep because of y'all. <laughs> y'all yeah. not finna get sleep. sleep. And y'all got an 8 a.m. session? Oh, no, I'm turning up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wait. Uh, y'all trying to sleep in there? No, no, no. Yeah. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait because it was like, what, like 10 something, yeah. right? I'm going to wait till it's like 1, 1 No, it has to be an inconvenient time, like 1 Y'all gonna let me in. That chair said, y'all gonna let me in. I know, that chair was with you. He said, I got you, big bro. Like, hey. I got you, big bro. Yeah, so that's what I would do. No. I think that's probably a better way to handle it. Yeah. Yeah. But it, that's just, it makes me laugh that he waited. <laughs> In my head, I'd yeah. probably want to do that. <laughs> he wanted, because I do get it's funny to see them running. Mm -hmm. That is funny, but I'm like, if one of my friends actually did that, like they locked me out of my thing, I'm like, what kind of friend are you that I your, brought you out here? Your best friend. My best friend? Oh my mm -hmm. God. That's, that's a, your best that's friend. That's a terrible mm -hmm. friend. Ooh, or would be even better? Like, at least get like an hour away. And then, like, we stop at a gas station. They get out to go use the restroom mm -hmm. or whatever. And then and that's when you will, leave. That's like so it's like, better. you get halfway there. And it's like, you could have just took us home that last hour. But no, nah, now you got to pay for an Uber <laughs> to get your last hour home. Or their stuff is still in your car, too. So you just completely leave them stranded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unless they were in, like, a dangerous situation or something. I get they were in an unfamiliar city. But it's, it's a, a group of guys. They'll right. be fine. Just text them. If they were women, no, that would be different. I would, I wouldn't leave the women stranded because even if your best friend world, locked you out. Well, I might just make sure that she has a different way of getting home because I'm gonna have to go. So you need to go ahead and call your sister, your mom, your dad, yeah. whoever. Go ahead and call them and tell them uh, that you need to be picked up, and I will be leaving. Yeah. But <laughs> that's yeah, because no, I'm not taking you back home. <laughs> yeah, after they were disrespectful, they don't deserve a free ride back mm -mm. back there. No. No, absolutely not. Because if I have to ride with you, I'm going to be the most petty person, and we have to fight. Like, we're going to have yeah, to fight. That's the thing. I think you just got to fight. Exactly. Because you need yeah. to be beat. <laughs> yeah. I think that's true. You just got to fight sometimes. Like, that's the thing where you're like... Sometimes you just got to let these people like, know I don't want to leave my friend there because I'm like, I would feel bad. If I'm my best <laughs> friend, even though they don't obviously care about me, I'm like... I'm not gonna leave my best friend there, but I'm like, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna swing on you, probably. <laughs> Literally, think, yeah. like, okay, let's say you're like Brandon, beat it on the door and yeah. stuff. As soon as you open that door, I'm dragging I'm you by your hair. 
<laughs> you need to be me. Are you kidding me? Lock nah. me out of my stuff and then tell me I can't come in. You're crazy. I think I would hit the older friend, though, first. Because it's like, I don't even know you. <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> Just take your and you aggression out like, You're the one telling me I can't get my... Get, get your... Yeah, was, well, it was... I mean, uh, <laughs> It was the best friend was because like, at first somebody was knocking and they like were ignoring them to the point where they eventually got to his best friend and his best friend was the one who was like, sorry, bro, there's no room. Mm-mm. Nah. That's not a real friend, just in no. general. But. It's not. And they just, they just. No, because I would do that as a joke and then open the door like five minutes later. Like, that's a funny <laughs> joke. But then you're like, yeah, I can't do nothing about it. Right. <laughs> you hear them get in the bed, they're like, <laughs> just getting ready to go to bed. I'm like, what? Mm-mm. It's not funny anymore, guys. Let me in. <laughs> guys, seriously, I have to pee. Yeah. <laughs> no, I have to poop. They're like, nah, cool. It's cool, man. But <laughs> I also do like wonder, like, the dynamics. Their, yeah, their dynamic. Because it was just like, he was like, guys, am I really wrong for doing that? His, oh it didn't seem like at the end of it, it didn't seem like he was like, yeah, I'm not being this guy's friend anymore. Mm-hmm. At the end of it, he's like, guys, am I, like, could I handle it a better way? But it's like, I wonder if they're just like really just horrible people to each other. <laughs> or maybe he's one of those friends who's like, like the low man on the friend group. <laughs> and like they use him, they're like, we don't really like this kid, but he has a trailer. And yeah, like, see. And it. I don't like when people I don't like get that used yeah, like that. So that. when it comes to stuff like that, I'm very petty. <laughs> But then he got a backbone because he just just left. <laughs> he just <laughs> freaking drunk. <laughs> yeah, he's got some type of backbone considering he was willing to He was to probably wait. fed up. He's probably tired of being used and abused. And finally was just like, that's probably why he waited all day. Because this is like, like, this is no. probably like five years <laughs> building up. And that's why he just like waited for them to come. And this is a cinematic <laughs> moment in his life. But it's such an inconvenient moment. It's such (laughs) inconvenience to like wait there the whole day. (laughs) That's what he was was probably just sitting there like. But he wanted to feel like the winner. He's like, it's gonna be so good. Because it's been built up. I bet you it's been like years of this friendship just being used and abused. And he's like, finally, you know what? I'm not doing this no more. I can't even get in my own camper. And drove off into the sunset. Well, that's it for the episode of Absolutely uh, Not that we already know what the title is going to be. Absolutely, absolutely not. not. Absolutely, absolutely not. not. Thank you so much, Jazz, for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. This was so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> man, you're my cousin. Yeah, you're my cousin. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, See you later. Uh, Bye. 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 <laughs>